Hey guys, my name is Sky, and my task today is to teach you how to do recurring tasks in Notion. And actually, it's quite a controversial topic in the calendar world. Yes, there is a calendar world. Because everyone is such a huge fan of Notion, it has this cult-like following of which I am part of. <laughs> but when it comes to using it as a calendar, the topic of recurring tasks always comes up. And people in general want to know, should they switch from Google Calendar? to Notion. That's not up to me to decide, but hopefully this video will help you to make that transition if you have decided to make that transition. I never thought I'd be talking so passionately about calendars. Hey guys, welcome to this video about how to use Notion as a calendar. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to create a new workspace. Now we have this beautiful blank canvas, which, you know, as a Notion fan, you always get a little bit excited when you see this page. It's just full of possibilities. So in case you don't know, like it says here, you can just press the slash button and it brings up all the options, all the blocks. Scroll down past the basic ones and you come to databases and here we have calendar in line. And you can name it up here. So Let's call it Sky's Ultimate Calendar. I love the word ultimate. It just makes everything instantly more exciting and cool. Okay, we can also name it the same thing up here. Great. And something that I get caught up in a lot is just pressing the random button. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so... First off, let's start with the basics. You have something to do, you want to put it in your calendar. You go here to whichever date you want to put the item in, and there's a little plus up here in the top left corner where you add an item. Okay, so we're going to add an item. And guys, I'm going to be teaching how to do slightly more advanced things like add color coding and tags and the famous recurring tasks. So, but for now, let's keep it simple. We're gonna, we're gonna have coffee with... With the gang. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. Who has coffee with the gang? Um, coffee with Cynthia. So then, if you want to add in a time, you come up here and you cl click on the date. Down here, there's this little cog symbol, and it's format date. So you can include the time. Gonna get that coffee at 2 p.m., which is kind of lunchtime, really, isn't it? And if you're someone that needs to set a reminder, uh, if I was having coffee with someone, I think I would just remember. It would kind of be on my mind. <laughs> but that's just me. Maybe you need a reminder. Uh, maybe an hour before. That gives you enough time to make yourself presentable. Okay, great. And you can add a tag. Let's say social. Uh, we're going to color code it because this will come in useful when we want to actually color code our calendar. If you want to do that. Social. That's not a very social color. Let's use a fun color like yellow. Done. And you can type in where exactly you're, you're having it. Alchemy Cafe. That's where all that's where all the cool kids hang out in my area. Okay, so I want to show you something else. Let's say we have. Let's add another event, and it's gonna be bird watching. Seminar. You can add an icon. Guess it should probably be a bird. Okay, great. Let's tag it. Event. Go over here. Okay, perfect. Now, let's say you want to make the event last a couple of days. Come over here until this little pulley kind of icon shows up and you just drag. You can drag it for as long 
You know, it's a long seminar. There's a lot to talk about. And again, you can utilize this feature where you can add lots of things in. So you can put in a to-do list of things not to forget. And so here can become a note-taking place. Notes from day one. Birds are super cool. Bring binoculars. Well, don't know how to spell that. Okay, I'm going to show you right now how to color code just so we can, you know, make it look a little bit less monochrome. So we'll come up here. As you remember, we added tags and we made them different colors, but you can't see them. Hmm, that's weird. So come up here to these little three dotted lines and come to properties. And basically you want to turn on the tags. And then it's different colors. So let's talk about recurring tasks. Okay, so there's there's two different ways that you can do this. So let's say if it's something you have to do every week. Let's say you want to wash your car every week. <laughs> I don't know if people do that. Wash Maserati. Oh no, I cannot spell that. <laughs> I have one. I definitely have one, guys. Believe me. I just don't know how to spell it. Okay, wash car. Make that personal. Okay. So basically, when you've done it, you come in here, you've washed your car, click on the date, and you change it to next week. It's just one click, and then, oh, I gotta do it again, the same time next week. Uh, let's say if it's something more recurring, like something you're gonna do like five or six days a week, um, which is probably going to be workout, let's face it. That's something you're going to be doing a lot of, <laughs> maybe. You're going to do something pretty nifty and you may not know about it. You come all the way down here to advanced blocks. And you're going to go to template button. So, we're going to type in here, create workout. In here it's going to be workout. All right, we're going to close. So now we have this button here and every time we click it, it's going to create a workout. And we're going to drag it and put it on our calendar. I don't know if I'll have time to work out after the bird watching seminar, but oh, two workouts in one day. And you can put it anywhere you like. Okay, let's do something else. Uh, let's say you want to, you got to meet with real estate agent. Again, you want to give it a time. ADM. And let's say it's somewhere where you're not super familiar with and you don't really want to be late. You definitely don't want to be late and you don't want to get lost. So you can come down here and you can insert or embed Google Maps. Okay, so you have to open up Google Maps. I'm just going to type in like a random place in America. Cookie. Cookie Hall Road. <laughs> Kentucky, USA. Yes. Perfect. And it's <laughs> right next to White Oak Pumpkin Patch. You know, really great place to buy land. So you copy the URL. And then you come over here to your... And you paste it in here. And you can embed the map. And don't forget your tags. Um... Let's tag it meeting, change the color to red. Something else cool that you can do that you definitely can't do with Google Calendar, you can add a view. So, board. Create a board view. You can also create a list. 
you know, it just lets you see things from a different perspective, a different view. Timeline, let's try that. And you can switch between views if you just want to keep it simple. Stick with the calendar view. So there you go, guys. That is Notion Calendar. I think the major benefit, the major pro to using Notion as a calendar is just how customizable it is and how intricate and detailed you can get. Obviously, the recurring tasks, you know, might not be as handy as with other calendars. But I think the fact that you have your calendar here in your workspace with everything else um, makes up for that. You know, you don't have to be switching between apps. You can have everything very streamlined. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.